Deep within forests concealed by a canopy of leaves and a veil of mystery lie architectural marvels known as forest palaces. These secluded mansions, often invisible to the casual observer, evoke a sense of wonder and intrigue. Who built these grand estates in such remote locations? What stories do their walls whisper? Let's venture into the woods and unravel the secrets behind these enigmatic forest palaces. Imagine stumbling upon a clearing in the woods, sunlight filtering through the trees to reveal a sight that takes your breath away. A majestic palace built of stone or wood stands proudly amidst the trees, its windows like watchful eyes peering out from the forest. It's a scene straight out of a fairy tale, yet these hidden gems are very real. Join me as we delve into the world of forest palaces, exploring their history, their owners, and the reasons behind their secluded existence. These are not your typical suburban homes. They are grand estates, often boasting multiple stories, sprawling lawns, hidden beneath the trees, of course, and architectural flourishes that speak to a bygone era. Some are modest, with a rustic charm that blends seamlessly into their surroundings. Others are opulent, their facades adorned with intricate carvings, their interiors dripping with luxury. But regardless of their size or style, all forest palaces share one common trait. They are a world away from the hustle and bustle of city life, offering their owners a sanctuary of peace and tranquility. Who owns these magnificent forest palaces? They are captains of industry, tech moguls, celebrities seeking refuge, and old money families with legacies stretching back generations. These individuals, driven by a desire for privacy and a love for nature, have chosen to make their homes in the heart of the woods. Take, for instance, the sprawling estate in the Adirondacks, belonging to a family whose fortune was built on railroads, or the secluded modern mansion in the Pacific Northwest owned by the tech entrepreneur who made his billions in Silicon Valley. Each palace has a story to tell, a tale interwoven with the lives of those who built and inhabited them. Some owners have poured their fortunes into restoring historic estates, preserving a piece of the past for future generations, Others have commissioned architects to design cutting-edge homes that blend seamlessly into their natural surroundings, but all share a deep appreciation for the beauty and tranquility of the forest. These are not just homes, they are legacies. They are a testament to the enduring allure of nature, even in an age of concrete jungles and digital distractions. Are these forest palaces inhabited or abandoned? Some stand empty, their windows dark, their gardens overgrown, whispering tales of times gone by. Others bustle with life, their owners using them as weekend retreats, seasonal getaways or even permanent residences. The fate of a forest palace often depends on the circumstances of its owners. Some families have passed their estates down through generations, ensuring their continued occupancy. Others have been forced to sell due to financial hardship, leaving their future uncertain. Abandoned forest palaces hold a particular allure. They are like sleeping beauties frozen in time, waiting for someone to awaken them from their slumber. Exploring these forgotten estates is like stepping into a time capsule, offering a glimpse into a bygone era of elegance and grandeur. But whether inhabited or abandoned, forest palaces continue to fascinate us. They are a reminder that even in our modern world, there are still places where time seems to stand still, where nature reigns supreme, and where secrets whisper among the trees. Section 4. Seeking solitude, why were these palaces built in such secluded locations, far from the convenience and vibrancy of urban life? The answer lies in a yearning for privacy, a desire to escape the pressures of society and a deep-seated love for the tranquility of nature. For some, the forest offered a sanctuary from the prying eyes of the public. Imagine being a captain of industry, your every move scrutinized by the press. The forest provided a much-needed escape, a place to shed the weight of public image and simply be oneself. For others, the forest was a source of creative inspiration. Artists, writers and musicians have long sought solace in nature, finding in its quiet embrace the space to think, to dream and to create. The forest palaces provided the perfect setting for these creative souls to connect with their inner muse. And for many, the forest was simply a place of peace and tranquility, the gentle rustling of leaves, the songs of birds, 
the scent of pine needles. These simple pleasures held a powerful allure, offering an antidote to the stress and chaos of city life. Section 5. The Price of Privacy Constructing a palace, even in the most accessible of locations, is no small feat. Building one deep within a forest, far from established infrastructure, presents a unique set of challenges and costs. The price tag for such an endeavor is not for the faint of heart. First, consider the logistics of transporting materials. Roads may need to be built or reinforced to accommodate heavy trucks carrying lumber, stone and other building materials. Then there's the challenge of bringing in skilled labor. Construction workers, electricians, plumbers, they all need to be housed and fed, often in remote locations where amenities are scarce. Add to that the cost of installing utilities. Extending power lines, digging wells and installing septic systems can be significantly more expensive in remote areas. And let's not forget the landscaping. Maintaining those sprawling lawns and manicured gardens, all while preserving the natural beauty of the surrounding forest, requires a small army of gardeners and landscapers. All told, the cost of building a luxurious forest palace can easily run into the tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of dollars. It's a price tag that only the ultra-wealthy can afford. Section 6. An Exclusive Retreat The forest palaces, with their secluded locations and exorbitant price tags, stand as a stark reminder of the chasm between the haves and the have-nots. They are an exclusive retreat for the privileged few, a world hidden from the view of ordinary people. Yet, there's a certain allure to these hidden estates. Even if we can only dream of stepping foot inside, they spark our imaginations, transporting us to a world of fairy tale castles and secret gardens. They remind us that there are still pockets of wilderness left in this world, places where nature reigns supreme and where the whispers of the past linger in the air. While the forest palaces may forever remain beyond the reach of most, their stories continue to fascinate us, offering a glimpse into a world of wealth, privilege and the enduring allure of nature.